it is Thanksgiving week and I wanted to come on here and briefly talk about how we are preparing for our Thanksgiving and how you all may want to do the same. So I'm going to share a couple tips that will be helpful regardless of where you are in your health journey as well as some things that uh, might be a little more specific to the holidays. So no matter what your 2020 Thanksgiving looks like, whether it's from home or with a small select group of people, um, let's all just know that we're probably going to overload on a few things that we may not normally do. So I'm going to have that slice of pie. I will probably be a little more caffeinated than normal. Um, less sleep is definitely probably going to happen. <laughs> and so we're kind of creating some things that will be different with our schedule that are not as beneficial for our body. So knowing those things ahead of time can help you prepare. So I'm going to tell you a few things that we are doing to prepare and get ready for, um, just celebrating and having a thankful heart. And so just jump in. Okay. So first thing first, flu is not a season. So we have four seasons, winter. Yes, I am aware of what they are. I teach them to my children in school. <laughs> winter, spring, summer, fall. Flu is not a season. Flu and sickness time of year is part of winter, okay? So when you get to a winterish time, you have kind of a perfect storm of things happening. You have less sunshine um, and less vitamin D going into your body. So you've got that going on. You are likely being less active. Um, I know with our kids, we are really trying to get outside at least 20 minutes a day for some vitamin D and some exercise. But majority of their exercise ends up being running around the house. But for the most part, most people are not exercising as much. They are not outdoors as much because of the colder temperatures. Um, there is a likelihood of eating more junk and more crap because you're heading into holidays. Um, that sort of thing. Comfort foods become a lot bigger deal when in the wintry months. You've got uh, some sleeping less, maybe because you're hustling hard or you're trying to get work done before you take off for some time. Um, you're shopping late at night. You are you know, doing all kinds of different things that it's likely this time of year you're getting less sleep. You're also experiencing more stress because of holidays and because of 2020. Hello world. So there's at least five major factors that are probably contributing to um, wellness this time of year. So vitamin D, exercise, sleep, eating junk, and um, stress. And so those are huge things that deal with your wellness that have nothing to do with, um, I mean, it has everything to do with the time of year. Okay. And so let's work on trying to stop that perfect storm. <laughs> or if we see it coming, you know, we're coming into Thanksgiving or we're going into Christmas season. If we see that, that kind of, um, practice getting ready to come. So let's start combating it and let's prepare before we get there so that our bodies are not falling apart <laughs> at the end. So, um, like I said, this is great info for any time, but especially going into this week and into the next month or two. So a couple things, I'm just going to cover four quick things that we can do. One, mind your gut, your gut health, um, depending on which, uh, articles you've read is 70 to 80% of your immune system. So support your gut, support the flora and things that are going on in your belly. Um, and that can be done several ways, lots of ways, actually, um, health or like what you're eating. It has a huge part, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, what you're eating has a huge thing. Probiotics are big, big help. Um, and antioxidants are really supportive as well. So, um, antioxidants that would be really great that are more seasonal for this time of year, cranberries, kiwi, blueberries, pomegranates, um, wolfberry, goji berry, which is also, um, in the major can, in, ingredient in ninja red that we take daily, um, as our family with young living. Um, but minding your gut and making sure that gut health is taken care of. So some of our favorite ways to do that, to do that like I said, is Ninja Red. We take a shot of this um, one to two ounces for my husband and I, half an ounce for each of our kids, and a dash splash squirt for my 10-month-old. Um, this is full of antioxidants, and I've said it several times in multiple classes that I've taught that the antioxidants act as like karate chopping fighters for the free radicals in your body, and free radicals are what are going in and trying to destroy cells. So you want to be fighting those and combating those. Um, there's like this war going on in your belly, and you want to have the odds in your favor and in your health. So Antioxidants, whether it's eating antioxidant-rich foods, like I just mentioned, blueberries, kiwis, pomegranates, those kind of things, 
drinking a supplement like that. We love supporting local with Thrive Kombucha. Kombucha, kombucha, I think it's kombucha. I don't know why it's the other one, but we just picked up some kombucha today so that we can um, have some shots of that or a cup if you're an adult, whatever you wanna do. Um, it has excellent probiotics in it. My kids also take what we call power powder. Uh, Mighty Pro from uh, Young Living. It is a pre and probiotic. It tastes like a pixie stick. I also take them because they're delicious. Um, and they come in a pack of 30. And um, they're two and up. I know kids that have taken them when they're younger, just maybe not an entire pack. And it helps keep things regular, which we'll talk about in just a second. <laughs> but so the first thing that I would recommend, whether you are an oily person or not, is pump up the probiotics, making sure that your gut flora and your belly is in a good state going into um, the holidays and going into a couple days where you might be eating a little more junk, push the odds in your favor. So probiotics, your gut, sticking, helping your gut too. Up your water intake. Yes, you will probably be drinking more other things, whether it's kombucha or um, teas or wine or coffee, whatever it is. But on the flip side, drink more water too. Even better, add a little bit of lemon to it. Um, help flush things out because if you are drinking lots of water, it's gonna help flush all of the ick out that you need to get out. Um, it also helps keep things regular. Wasn't gonna really talk about poop, but it comes up. It needs to happen. <laughs> If you're eating more junk or if you're having um, a lot of things going on that are against your health at the moment, then you want to make sure that you're keeping things um, regular. Just, I'm just going to say it. So upping your water intake, super big. Flushing out any junk. Three, cut sugar. Um, we have kind of started to do that the last day or two, just kind of getting it out of our system if we've had it for any reasons, because you know you're going to have a slice of pie. You know you're probably going to add whipped cream to your coffee or your drink or something like that. You're going to for in some capacity, be eating sugar over the next couple days. And so um, we are cutting it back a little bit now and then so that we can um, just be mindful of it when we are going into it. My kids react crazy when they're given um, sugar, which um, a lot of people that I know have had the same experience. If your kids don't have a lot of sugar and they have it, they literally bounce off the walls. Um, so, but just making sure that you're mindful of your sugar consumptions. Um, I did a class a couple weeks ago. If you joined that, then you know that I did some research and it talks about um, when you eat sugar, it cuts um, your immune system's ability to fight off by 50% for at least one to five hours following the sugar. So, say you eat a cookie at 12 o'clock for the next one to five hours, possibly till dinner time, your immune system's running at 50%. Not too fantastic. Um, and so when you are consuming sugar, just be mindful of that, making sure that you are extra washing your hands afterwards, that you are being very careful with um, where you put your hands, where you put your mouth, um, things like that. I'm saying that for kids. I'm not saying that as for adults. We normally know what to do with our hands and our mouths. <laughs> but for the most part, I just wanted to reiterate that that's, that one to five hours after consuming any type of sugar, whether it's hidden in your yogurt, whether it's in your whipped cream, whether it's in your ketchup, it's hidden in everything. After the consumption of sugar, your immune system's at half. So be mindful of that. Know that going into it and support your body by eating lots of vegetables as well, okay? So cutting sugar um, when possible and um, upping your vegetable intake. So the fourth one, I told you this would be quick, is rolling on and vitamining up. <laughs> So I'm going to show you our, um, the roller that I make. It's actually empty. They make a thieves roller with Young Living. It's upside down, a thieves roller. It's also backwards, I think. Um, and I just refill it myself. I've gotten it a while back, but since it already has a label on it, I use it myself pretty often and then just refill it. Um, the oils that I put in mine are thieves, of course. So I put, um, I'm pretty somewhat generous with mine for a 10 l this is 10 milliliter for 10 milliliter um roller i would do maybe like 15 ish total um so let's just do oh, hold on let's count with me one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten. I want the majority to be thieves for me. Um, and where we're going to put this is on the bottoms of our feet, the back of our neck, down your spine. Oh, that won't go on there. Down your spine. And um, this is our immune support that we do. And when we are out and about, we are more likely to do it every three hours. It takes about three hours for it to metabolize um, through your system. And lemon is my second one. So thieves and lemon. 
for it to metabolize through your entire system, go through every cell. And so what you want to do is, um, if you're in an environment where you think there might be more germs or where you've come in contact with more germs, then I put it on every three hours after it has gone through my whole body. I put it again. Oregano, one drop. Research it. Look on PubMed for the benefits of oregano. It's a hot oil, which means it can burn, on, not burn, but like make a little red spot on your skin because it's hot, the concentration of it. So I just do one drop. I don't do very much of it. Um, frankincense, one of the best there is. I do a couple drops of it. Um, and uh, a diluted version for your kiddos of the same exact thing, definitely on their feet in the mornings and the evenings. Um, and that is something that we love. I just keep it in my purse. And if I'm out and about, I just think about it, I put it in. So and this is the last one that I put in. You know what? Am I out of this? No, I'm not. Um, is Exodus 2. It's a newer one to me. I started using it at the beginning of this last year. And I love the smell of it. Um, it's a blend of a couple different oils. But it is excellent for immune support as well. And um, so I add it to my rollers now that I have it. And it smells delicious. It smells kind of Christmassy to me. Um, so we ended up with about, I think, 15 to 18 drops in there. Um, and then I'm going to top it all off with some uh, fractionated coconut oil. And it will be ready to go. So the last thing I said once we oil up is we... Um, is vitamin up. So we are making sure we are staying on top of our vitamins right now and vitamin C and uh, kids mighty vitamins. Mighty Bites is an excellent one that we use for the kiddos. Vitamin C, I have adults and kids ones for that. And then something that's new to us this year that we found really beneficial for um, holidays coming up are enzymes and there's mighty zymes is what we have for kids and I have sulfur zymes which is for adults and how was explained to me when I was at convention for Young Luminous last year is they they took like the powder enzymes into a bowl of oatmeal and it liquefied it and so that's what's happening in your belly so if you're eating junk or if you eat something that does not um, may take longer for it to process like pizza or burgers or you know something like that eating enzymes or taking enzymes with it when you um, either when you eat or right before you eat then it helps break down that stuff. And so like we talked about with water, wanting to flush that stuff out of your system. So wanting to get it out as fun as it was going in, getting it out and helping your body to just move on and process all of that. So we will definitely be taking my designs with us um, and having Thanksgiving meal and then probably eating some enzymes to make sure that all of that gets flushed out and processed correctly. So that is my helpful tip for you guys. Mind your gut. One, two, drink lots of water. Three, cut the sugar. Four, roll up and vitamin up. So happy Thanksgiving, friends. If you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. This is how we're preparing. This is how I can know that we are walking into holidays and um, perhaps the more like stressful or sleeping less um, situation or eating more junk food type of situation. That's how I know that we can still have fun, still cut loose, still um, be wild and crazy perhaps in the evenings at night and, you know, sleep whatever situations and eat differently and still know that we're supporting our body. So happy Thanksgiving, friends. I'll talk to you later.